Um, so our next candidate um, tonight is Morgan um, Kirkpatrick. Morgan Kirkpatrick is um, is a candidate for the State Board of Education, District 15. She's running against Aaron Kinsey, who is appointed by Greg Abbott to chair the State Board of Education. He was appointed in December. And I'm so glad that someone's running against Aaron because uh, I thought Aaron was a little scary, in my opinion, when I looked at his preview when he was running the first time in 22. And so I'm I'm happy that someone is running against him. So welcome, Morgan. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are and how best we can support you right now? Thank you for having me. Um, I am Morgan Kirkpatrick. I am the only candidate with professional experience as an educator running for the Texas State Board of Education in District 15. Um, I was born and raised in the heart of West Texas and I'm a product of successful public education. I taught English and reading in middle school for 14 years and I'm proud to say that I was recognized by the state of Texas as an exemplary teacher. Unfortunately, two years ago, I had to make the difficult decision to leave education. I miss teaching and interacting with the students. Um, but I know that I made the right decision for my students and for myself when I chose between, when I had to choose between my mental and physical health or staying in the classroom. Um, during the pandemic, Texas had a once in a lifetime opportunity to reimagine education. Instead, decision makers at all levels seemed to double down on issues that educators had been ringing warning bells about for years. The issues surrounding high stakes testing, inadequate and sometimes inaccurate curriculum and overburdened schools have not been resolved. The pandemic seemed to amplify and further politicize them. And I witnessed firsthand the impact that state level decisions can have on educators, students and campuses as a whole. Um, my opponent lacks this firsthand educator knowledge and I strongly believe that we can improve education if those making the decisions have been in the classroom doing the work or are communicating with different educators um, from different districts and varying populations on a regular basis. My opponent fails on both counts as evidenced by a recent decision um, to reject a personal finance textbook uh, because of its depiction of the oil market. This kind of censorship may be good for his wallet, but it's not good for students who need to be prepared to address the most pressing issues of our time. Amen to that. I would agree with you 110%. So can you tell us a little bit more about what somebody does when they are part of the State Board of Education? Um, you could tell us a little bit more about that, and then, um, and then I'll have, probably have another question for you. Sure. Um, one of the main responsibilities and the most important, in my opinion, is the approval of curriculum and instructional materials. So just this week, we've seen the power my opponent holds since Greg Ab Abbott named him um, as the board chair. He removed the first reading for the Native American Studies course from the agenda in their meeting this week, um, supposedly to give the board more time to review but that's the goal of the first reading is to help introduce it and familiarize them with it. Yeah, that's pretty serious, especially considering the Native Americans were in Texas way before everybody else, you know, Ding -ding. We learn a little bit of Native American history. Yes, um, I am. Yeah, so, um, so what are your current thoughts uh, about, you know, the tone of education right now in Texas, which is just, it's tough. It know? is. It is. I, I attended a meeting last night um, because we um, we do have a, a Moms for Liberty group in Lubbock now, and um, they are there are, is a group of, of people meeting with local school districts trying to get books banned. And so, you know, talking about what parents specifically can do um, to kind of stand up for public education and what their children have access to. It is a parent's right. Um, but it's their right for their child, for their decision, for what their child reads or, you know, studies. And so it's the the tone in education, you know, just surrounding the, the overburdened schools, the overburdened teachers. Um, many of my friends are still teachers and and it's, it's heartbreaking to hear some of the things that they have to deal with on a day to day basis. And so it's it's, it's really scary. 
Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, being that you're in Lubbock and you're definitely in a rural part of Texas, um, what do you think is the most important thing right now for people in your district when it comes to education? I mean, what is um, it that we don't know that we so should? So, I know there there is a lot of talk about vouchers. Um, you know, the the governor called four special sessions and. Luckily, you know, we, we, we pulled through and, and he didn't get his wish um, for that, but vouchers will decimate rural school districts. Those are the, the community hubs for many areas. And if vouchers were to, to make it through and become part of, of school funding, um, those, those rural, rural schools specifically will be decimated and, and where will those communities be? Absolutely. Where would they be? It would not be a good thing for sure. So thank you so much for uh, for telling us a little bit more about the State Board of Education. I have to point it out to everybody who's watching right now that Morgan is wearing a Mother's uh, Against Greg Abbott t-shirt that we, that we sell on our website. It says, I love public education and we have great swag. So please go buy our swag. Um, I really appreciate it. So Morgan, tell us a little bit about where we can find you and how best we can support you right now while you're running for State Board of Education. So the easiest thing to share is my link tree. I have links to my website, social media, um, a volunteer form at uh, Morgan for F-O-R-T-X-S-B-O-E 15. Um, my district covers 87 counties from Amarillo to Midland, Odessa, over to San Angelo and Abilene and up to Wichita Falls. And it's it's a lot of ground to cover. So I would love to meet fellow mothers against Greg Abbott um, and others um, in those areas. And you know, if if anyone is is interested in coffee or you know just meeting up, I'm I'm planning to to make it to as many um, meetups and things as I can in in this area. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to be in Amarillo in a couple of weeks for their big event, and I will I'm see you there. there. Yeah, I'll see you there. I'm one of the I'm like one of the keynote speakers. So I will see you there. I get to find I usually I say I look forward to meeting you on the campaign trail, but I probably am going to meet you on the campaign trail. So Yay. very excited about that. <laughs> thank goodness. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Morgan. I really appreciate you joining us here tonight. Thank you for the opportunity.